Recording in progress. Satnam, everyone. It's Candace from Soulfire Social. Good morning to you. Let's go ahead and get started right away by tuning in. Just make sure you're in a comfortable seated posture, sit bones connected to the earth. You may want to roll your shoulders for a moment, just making sure that spine is straight, the hips are pushed gently out, Jalandhar Banda is engaged. Let's go ahead and close the eyes, focusing on the third eye point, bringing the palms out in front of us and rubbing them vigorously, creating warmth and creating heat, and then bringing that heat right into prayer pose, thumbs at the sternum, fingers pointing up and out, settling in at the heart space. We're working on the book, reaching the me in me. So connecting that heart space, that inner smaller self with our higher consciousness, with the infinite. We tune in with the Adi Mantra, Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo. And when we chant these words, we are bowing to the infinite wisdom, to our infinite wisdom, but also to the wisdom we carry in our own hearts, in this physical body, on this plane. Let's go ahead and take a nice long deep inhale to begin. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo that flow from the heart, truth at the throat, igniting the third eye, opening through the crown. Protective light surrounding us for the duration of our practice. And then releasing the breath into a Gyan Mudra. Thumb and index fingers connect. And I'm going to step back and we will get started. Be sitting on a bolster to start. So, we are going to start off with an interesting little pranayama. The Kriya that we're working on today renewing your nervous system and building stamina. Okay, so we start with the left elbow is bent and tucked by the ribs, so it's very relaxed here in the shoulders. And the right hand, you want to make sure there's a nice place that the right hand, the fingertips can touch here on the right hand side. The breath is through an O-shaped mouth. And so this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be bringing three segmented breath with the O. So it's a... Remember when we're doing segmented breaths, we think about the number and then we want to try and get each of the three breaths at, of the same amount so that by the time you finish with the third breath, you're fully inhaled. So the hand's going to be touching to the side here. It's very grounding. And then we start to bring on the three breaths. <coughs> Excuse me. So my third breath, and then when I touch my palm, I exhale through rounded lips. I bring my right hand back to touch. Two 
Take it back out and release. Does that make sense? Okay, so three to come up and over when the palms touch. Exhale. Hand comes back and we breathe again in that way. The eye focus is on the third eye. And we shall be... Oh, it's really breathing powerfully from the diaphragm. So this isn't necessary a slow breath. Let's start off just until you get it, but then we're gonna to start to speed it up a little bit and make it a little bit more intensive, really getting deep into the diaphragm. Okay. Let's go ahead.
Now we speed it up. Just become conscious, earth, 
energy, lower chakras, root, sacrum, navel, solar plexus, heart, throat. Make sure your Jaladhara Bandha is engaged, flowing up, igniting the third eye, the crown, the chakras above, up to the higher self. Flip the palm, inhale through the nose as we sweep up. Touching the palms at the top, extra sip through round lips. Eye focus shifts from the third eye to the crown and above. Hold that for a moment. Pull Mula Bandha. Energy directing up. Just becoming conscious. What are we working on? We're clearing the energy up through blocks. And then on the exhale, release the breath. Manifest it down. Peace, light, truth, love. Connect to your heart as you finish that exhale. Hold for a moment. Inhale, overflowing with self-love and compassion. Prayer rises, it flips down. Find your way home on the exhale. Manifesting confidence, passion, security, home. Hands come back up, elbows are down. And we're gonna be sweeping out like you're bringing water out from the sides and you're dashing it on your face. Okay, and the inhale is coming to the nose. It's gonna be quite fast and speedy. You're going to be inhaling and exhaling, sorry, in and out the mouth again. Outward circles in front of your chest, scooping water up, out, sorry, scooping water out of your lap and onto your face. So it's all the way down and up. Beautiful. Opens up the chest and the shoulder blades. Let us begin.
mind, the heart. Take a moment. You might need to wet your whistle. Hold it. Let's inhale through the nose. Squeeze Mula Bandha. Hold it. Pull that navel in very intentionally. Let's hold this for a long time. Eye focus, third eye. Slow, slow release. Keep those eyes closed. Let the fingertips touch the earth, either side of the body. And just tune in. How are you feeling today, everybody? Good time to read the quote for the Kriya. Just take it in, our only. You stay in your flow. Visualize roots down, connecting. You stay grounded. Those breaths are very elevating. But I want you here and present at the same time you're connected up. The quote is, live by the beat of your heart, not by the thoughts in your head. When we live by the beat of the heart, continuously meditating on the infinite and that flow, we find heaven here on earth. Live by the beat of the heart, not by the mind. Keep breathing. Flip the palms. Let's sweep it up on an inhale through the nose. Clearing and strengthening the aura. Hands come to touch. Extra sip rounded lips. Little heart connects to big heart. Me in me. This time I want you to open up the palms. When we exhale with the side, sweep out the aura to the side. Take a moment when the fingertips come back down to touch. And then let's rise. This is going to be an extended Monday dance party. I'm going to read to you what this says. We're shaking the entire body. We're lifting our arms in the air. We're loosening our shoulders, our spine, our hips. I want you to stretch, move, shake, break up your body blocks. You want to be thinking of this with rhythmic movements. Make yourself sweat. We have 11 minutes to dance, so find your way. And let's see if I can find our playlist. <laughs> All right.
not done yet, don't worry, just get your stretches in. Bring it up.
come forward. As you exhale, slowly let the hands keep dangling, rise up. This is very relaxed manner. At your exhale. Inhale, come back down. Drop, stretch. Exhale, rise. Thank you. 
much to one leg at a time. Try to really focus. This is for that navel, your warrior spirit. Use your breath. Just slowly 
Move the legs side to side, releasing the lower spine. Start to rock yourself up and down on the spine, a natural adjustment until you come back into an easy pose and come into Hakya Mudra, arms straight, thumb and index touching, eye focus, third eye, and just sit with that for a moment. Make sure you're in a solid yogi posture. This is not meant to be rhythmic. It's called an unrhythmic adjustment. And we shake everything from the torso up. We've got four minutes, and then it's going to be a lot more gentle. Then we'll start to bring it down. So give me these four minutes. And hopefully I can find that music I wanted to play for you. Actually, no. You just breathe for a moment. I'm going to find this because I think we want a big push. Natural adjustment. There we go. Okay. Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. Four minutes. Bangra. Nobody's watching. 
arms up. Ah. Let's inhale through the nose deeply. Reaching towards the heavens. Keep the Jaladara Banda locked though. Squeeze Mula Banda. You open up and lift the chin. You block off that flow in the cervical spines. So keep it open. Palms should face out and we release. Sweep. Sweep that arm out to the side. Ooh. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, flip the palms again. Inhale through the nose, sweep up. Extra sip, rounded lips when the palms touch. Take that exhale all the way down to the heart. Land it. Let's take another inhale. Chronic body fills the physical body. We flip our prayer, bring it down home, manifest that energy where you need it. And then come laying on your left hand side. You can place your head down, your hand here, or just on the earth. The, let me just see how that looks. If you think of how you kind of rest in your head and your hand, your other arm is here, right leg comes up, and just says, oh, <laughs> that has got a little muscle. <laughs> but the right leg comes up, and we pretend that we're sleeping. The only thing that we're doing is having that right leg up. I'm gonna have to hold my for a second because I'm getting a little muscle cramp. <sighs> but you're just resting like you're sleeping. The only tension is in that right leg. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. <sighs> Thank 
right leg straight. Yeah, you can come. Breaths here at your own pace. 
where you breathe deeply into the belly and you pull it up into the chest and up to the collarbone. It's like a three part breath, but just in one and you let it all out in the nose. A beautiful circle up the front, down the back. Go ahead and keep breathing in that pattern fully and deeply. circular breaths, belly, chest, all the way into the collarbone, release, like it's just dropping from the collarbone, chest, you feel them drop on your mat, belly is last, then you feel it again, up through the chest, fill it, collarbone, when you release, collarbone drops first, chest drops, belly drops, let's do that one more time. Bring your knees into the chest, rock from side to side a couple of times. Start to rock up and down on the spine. Come into your seated posture. Keep 
Try not to open the eyes too much. Grab your bolster. Find your posture if it's comfortable. The hand posture is going to be in a prayer above the arc line. That's the energy from the ear over the crown. So it's right back here. You want to make sure your shoulders aren't getting all jacked up. We are going to chant. Oh, you don't have to do it yet. I'm going to show you how to get tired. And we're going to be chanting the word a call. And then we're going to be listening after we chant that five times. That's part of the Kriya. But then we're going to be listening to a beautiful version of the a call. And a call actually means deathless. And we chant it typically when someone has passed for 17 days in Kundalini philosophy when the soul departs the physical body there are 10 days where it's a little bit in flux and um, i actually learned the other day that in some indian traditions you actually are not meant to cry for several weeks after because it the soul thinks like oh they're meant to stay we chant a call because it's a way of telling the soul to rise that we are sending them in peace and when we chant it for someone who passes we say you know you're deathless you please rise and take the opportunity we're we're sending them well wishes and love so just so you know what that means we're going to do this prayer five times and it's a call it's long we're doing it five times then i invite you to either keep your hands up in prayer or bring them down to prayer or bring them into your lap as we meditate on the song you bring in your call when the song plays when you feel called so let's bring our prayer over the arc line elbows are out at that ear to ear it's by the crown <clears throat> five times a call let's take a nice long deep inhale Oh
Spinner hands in prayer at our heart center and we'll close our session with three times Satnam reiterating truth is our name and our connection to the divine. Let's inhale to begin. Sa Satnam, dear friends.